Hello you beautiful people, and what are we doing today? We're straying from the Road to Glory, although this is my Road to Glory team. I'm going to be going through with you the formation that has revolutionised my gameplay, and has turned me from being someone who struggles against Legendary AI to someone who batters Legendary AI. I'm going to go through the instructions, the tactics, and little clips of showing you how this formation works against the AI. Online it could work, I haven't tested it yet, this has just been purely AI based. Right, so let's begin. You've got your defence, that's however you want to set it up, you know, whatever players you want, it doesn't matter. I haven't got many coins so they're a bit of, just a bit of rubbish, but they're just cheap defenders. Right, you're looking at your centre mid then. This guy's your anchor, he's going to be putting everything together. Right, he's got to be your physical presence that's protecting your back four but also available to spray the ball forwards to your centre forwards, your striker or out to your left and right mid. When you're looking at your left and right mid, you need pace. You need pacey players. You see I've got 92 pace and 93 pace because they are going to be going up and down. They also act as extra fullbacks. They sit just in front of the fullbacks. They sit a little bit deeper than your traditional left mid, right mid or winger because the cams push them back. So it actually is almost like a wing back in front of your full back, giving you that double up down the wings, defensive wise, which is very good. Then we've got these two, Firmino and Antonio, cams. You need very specific players here. They need to be really pretty much all rounders attacking wise. The defensive stats don't matter too much because you're gonna be running back with them anyway. You're positioning them most of the time, you're defending with them. It's not the worst thing in the world. But what you're really looking for out of these players, high, high work rates. Because you need them up and down the pitch in terms of defence, because otherwise you are going to be left exposed with one midfielder that your opponent can just pass around. Stats-wise, you're going to be looking for, ideally, good passing, good shooting, good pace, good dribbling, good physical. You know, you want that perfect player in there. These two are very good at it. Antonio lets you down with the passing a bit. Firmino lets you down with the pace a bit, but it's all I can afford at the moment. Up front, you're going to want a hold-up man with a bit of pace. Someone like Sun, someone like Morata, you know. Preferably above 80 pace, 6 foot tall, can hold up the ball, can pass it off, but can also make those runs in behind. It's kind of like a, uh, like a target man, really, but with a bit of pace. What you're going to want to do for these instructions though, on player instructions, you're going to want to stay central and false nine on your centre forward, your striker. Why do you want false nine? Not a lot of people use this as normally get in behind or target man. I think false nine gets overlooked a little bit. You're going to want false nine so he pulls back a little bit deeper to link up with play. Otherwise he can get isolated if you leave him as there as a target man or get in behind particularly. You don't want that because he's just going to make runs that you aren't going to be able to pick out because the two cams, they sit quite, quite wide from your forward and you can't really link up with him. On your cams, it's really what you like. I'm keeping them as default, completely default. They do a fine job. If you leave them basic, they get up and down with their high high. Balance crossing runs, yeah, again, that's okay. One tends to go in the box and one sits on the edge. They work together well. That's all you're gonna want for them. On your left and right mids, you're gonna want basic defensive support because you don't want them flying up the pitch all the time because like I said this, is, this formation can leave you a little exposed to the counter you're going to want to stay wide and get in behind this is very important on both of them stay wide, get in behind we'll show you why in the gameplay but this, the cams and the wingers are really what make this formation really overpowered against the AI your player instructions and your centre mid you obviously want to stay back while attacking and also stay on the edge of the box I think a lot of people overlook this. If you put them on stay on the edge of the box and they don't get into the box, they sit there, they can pick up any loose balls, but it also keeps your player further back for counter attacks. Then your full backs, I like them on balance attack because I like them to come a little bit forward, but not all the way. And I don't want them sitting back all the time. Because you do need them, especially if they can come forward, you can create sort of three on ones and three on twos with your cam your winger and your fullback. It's a really, really strong formation going forwards. It can leave you exposed down backwards. So if you're a competent defender, 
and you have a lot of faith in your own abilities, you can definitely use this uh, formation to overwhelm your opponent. This is really a formation where you're going to outscore people. Anyway, guys, let's move on to the custom tactics. Custom tactics here, guys, because you can see I like it fast. The speed, we've got up to 66. The passing, 66. Illuminati confirmed. We want those long passes, those fast passes, to get the ball from back to front as quickly as possible to counter on those teams. Free form, I don't think it affects too much. I like it, it gives a bit more variety of where your players are going to end up, but it also makes it unpredictable. It's up to you whether you want free form or not. Passing again, you want up high because you want those long passes, you want players to be looking into the space. Crossing, I've put up because it's nice to have the option of cross and also it keeps your cam and right mid quite wide and close together which creates those two on ones against the fullback where you can easily get in behind shooting 65 you want your players getting into positions to take shots goalkeepers completely broken at the moment so putting your shooting up higher creates that again free form positioning because you want them kind of moving about you don't want them static with the defense i like the pressure and aggression both being high because although i tend to drop off and try and replay and intercept passes with this it kind of creates a nice balance of where you can step out and quickly get into them if you need to or you can drop off as well because it doesn't fly you in all the time your team width affects how much your team moves to one side of the pitch so if i'm attacking down the right hand side it can uh, drag my entire team over like the left back and left mid will push in towards the center mid if you turn this down however you get the opportunities for the big switches. You know, you can play it from your right mid into uh, Schneiderlin in this team. I can go from Sterling to Schneiderlin, switch it to Tyson, and suddenly he's got a load of space. Your defensive line, you're going to want on cover because who the hell plays offside trap? That shit is suicidal. All right, guys, we're going to go into some gameplay now. I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so what you can see here, we've got Antonio highlighted. I've slowed it down for you. Now we're picking up Sterling, we're giving the ball back to Sterling and watch the defender come towards him, just leaving full space for Antonio to get into the box and score those goals. That's going to happen all the time with this formation. You'll see it again here. We're going to go from Firmino into Sun, Sun to Antonio, pulls in the defender, leaves all that space for Sterling to run into, just having a one-on-one -on -one chance. And if you can finish, you've got your goals. We're going to see it again here, guys. You see it here just working down the wings and then we're seeing the link up play between Sterling and Antonio yet again. They create that two on one, you can't mark, you body faint inside and you get the assist and the goal. Happy as you like. Once again here, Sterling, we're going to bomb down the wing, we're going to slow it down, body faint inside, through ball, goal. This is all on legendary against the AI guys. This is how to beat it. It's taken me a couple of days to figure it out. But honestly, now I'm completely confident we're going to see the exact same thing again, Sterling and Antonio. It's almost a carbon copy of the first goal I showed you. It just works the space and creates the two-on-ones so well. Once again, we're playing it out. If you want to beat the defenders, the AI defenders on legendary, just body faint. Don't stop and turn, don't fake shot, body faint. The stop and turn's too slow, it lets the defender catch up to you. Once again, we've got the two-on-one coming down the wing. Guess what we're going to do? That's right, we're body fainting inside, get a little bit lucky. But it doesn't matter, we created the chance and got the goal. You're going to see it again. This is just going to be time and time again. We're 1-2 between the wingers, wait for the run. The fullback can't press or mark, it's stuck. And then we play it across and we've got the switch on. Another easy goal. Legendary AI. I was really struggling against it. But now, with this formation and figuring out how overpowered the body faint is, it's become a lot easier for me and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be guaranteed Elite 1 and be able to push into the top 100 very easily now because I can win all these games fairly comfortably. My defending is still a bit iffy, I will admit, but going forwards I can just outscore the AI. It's a brilliant formation if you're struggling and you don't know what to do and you want to get those better rewards like Elite, like top 100, give this a go. You see once again the overlap and it's an easy goal. Absolutely guys, if you are struggling against the AI and you want more points because the rewards from squad battles are really good then just go out there give this formation a try let me know what you think because personally I think it's the best formation on the game I haven't used all of them I will stress but out of all the ones I have used this has been the best for creating two on one overlaps against the fullback anyway guys thank you for watching subscribe if you've liked it come back for more I will talk to you later